All right, let's talk about phase. Phase is one of the most difficult things to understand because you can't really see it. And to the untrained ear, sometimes it's hard to identify. But once you learn to hear phase, it'll become really, really obvious that there's a problem when there is a problem. So I wanted to show you an example of um, how phase can affect your signal. But first, I want to uh, explain what phase is. Phase is when you have two signals arriving at one microphone or you have one signal arriving at two microphones that are different distances from each other or you have just simply two different arrival times of a signal to a microphone and when they combine together they cause cancellations of specific frequencies that are related to the length of the difference in distance between the two signals or the difference in time. So um, I brought a picture frame and it uh, has a piece of glass and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you without the glass like right now and then I'm going to raise the glass up and create a reflective surface that the sound can reflect off of this up to the microphone which is just out of frame. So you're getting sound from here to the mic and you're getting sound from here to the glass bouncing up to the microphone and it probably is causing some different sounds to the uh, so assuming that that worked <laughs> assuming that that worked uh, that was an example of what could happen if you were in a booth and you had glass to the side of you or um, maybe you had a music stand that had um, paper or music underneath the microphone. That can be reflective. So we have to always be thinking about phase whenever we're recording, even if we're recording a single source into a single microphone, because reflections can cause phase problems.